Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And in today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, well, I've done something like this before. It was like 10 anime to get through quarantine. Um, on that video recently, I got a couple comments saying I should do another one and how you guys really liked it and said that it was a good list and all that good stuff. So I decided to do another one. Uh, I'm probably not going to call this one 10 anime to get through quarantine because... I would like this to be like a series. Maybe we do it like once or twice a, or not twice a month, like one, once a month or every two months, something like that. And we just talk about ten anime that I think that you should watch. And I think are all pretty good. So yeah, um, there's no order to these. They're it's not like a top ten anime list. They're not like my favorites. I mean, they are. I these are all really good animes, but there's not. They're not ordered from like my least favorite to favorite. They're just kind of in a random order. They're actually in the order in which I thought of the anime. So there's not really a specific order. So, yeah. Um, and I could, I would like to do a series with this, but I've only seen maybe like 80 anime. So at some point, I probably can't. And that's why I'm saying every like month or two months, because it will give me time to watch more anime and recommend different ones to you. But yeah, it kind of depends, because if I do it too often, I haven't seen enough, and we're not going to be able to make any more. So that's why I'm saying maybe once a month. Something like that. But yeah, also in all the 80 anime I've seen, some of them are not very good at all, and I would not recommend watching them. So I only want to do ones that I think are good, and that I think that you guys should spend your time watching. Hey guys, I forgot to mention this in my video. Um, I started a Discord server, so if you guys are interested in joining, the link should be in the description. I'd like to just make it like a nice community or whatever. I haven't really said this, but... Uh, so I've wanted to make a Discord server for a little while now, but I don't know if anyone wants to join or anything like that. I was unsure and kind of just putting it off. I should have made it earlier, but on Instagram, I got like a lot of, or a few, or a lot of people asking me to, if I want, or to start a Discord server. So I went and started it because I was like, people are asking for it. I might as well start it now. But yeah, if you guys want to join, I want to start doing like, I don't know, like movie nights or anime nights or something like that. Maybe we can even play some games or do... Some sort of, like, community nights or something like that. Uh, I know a lot of other Discord servers that I've been in have done stuff like that, but I'd like to do something like that. Um, this is my idea of the servers kind of make it revolve around anime. I really want to make it, like, a nice community, make it so that you guys feel like it's just a nice place to hang out. Um, make it, like, feel like you're welcome. Like, don't worry, um, everyone, most of the people who've joined, I think, are weebs or into anime or whatever, so don't worry if you join, um, there's not gonna, it's not gonna be like you're, you're, or if you like anime and you wanna join, most of the people in it are gonna like anime too. So yeah, um, you, if you wanna join, hopefully we can make it into a nice community, which, uh, that's what I, my plan is. I wanna do different nights, game nights, all, all that stuff. I'll have to plan out uh, when to do it and stuff like that. It'll most likely be on the weekend or whatever. Uh, maybe we can do it this Friday or something like that. I don't know. It's just an idea. But if you want to join, uh, if you join the Discord, let me know. Tell me what if you want to do that. Tell me if you have any ideas for the Discord server or anything like that. So yeah, uh, I'll let you guys continue to watch the video. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. The first anime on this list is Vinland Saga. And Vinland Saga follows a boy living in Iceland named Thorfinn who longs for adventure and is eager to know more about the world. He dreams of a land of paradise called Vinland that he hears about from the adventurer Leif. While he leads his peaceful life with his father Thors, a former warrior, one day Thors saves a runaway slave and sets a series of events in motion. This is the story of a true warrior in the Age of Turmoil. So guys, I, I just want to tell you that what I just read is basically the description of the first episode. Now the reason why I did that instead of like the plot overall is because... Every single, like, plot that I read on, like, the Wikipedia, on Amazon where it was streaming, like, just everywhere that I read it kind of spoils the first few episodes, like, the first four episodes or something like that. Like, for example, when I watched it, I knew kind of what happened in the first four episodes or whatever. I still enjoyed it, and I thought it was good, but um, I had showed it to my brother, who I didn't tell him what the anime was about. I was like, you just have to watch this. It's really good. And I think that he was able to enjoy it more and had more, it was like more surprised by certain things, but because he didn't read it, it's fine if you do read the plot. It's not that big of a deal, but I just think that it's a better experience. And I think Vinland Saga is an excellent anime, and I think that you should definitely check it out. Even though I didn't tell you that much about it, just go put it on. I believe that it might only be on Amazon, though. I think it's like one of those 
Amazon Prime free thingies or whatever, or free anime with Amazon Prime. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I was pretty sure it's only on Amazon or Amazon Prime Video. I'll put links in the description to where it is. It's most likely only there, but I definitely do think that it's really good anime, and you should definitely check this anime off your anime list of anime to watch. I don't know what I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay, next anime. The next anime on this list is Assassination Classroom. When a mysterious creature chops down the moon to a permanent crescent, the students of class 3E of a middle school that I cannot pronounce the name of find themselves confronted with an enormous task, assassinate the creature responsible for the disaster before Earth suffers a similar fate. However, the monster dubbed Koro-sensei, the indestructible teacher, is able to fly at speeds of up to Mach 20. Furthermore, the misfits of 3E soon find that the strange tentacle beast is more than just indomitable. He is the best teacher they have ever had. Assassination Classroom, I think, is really good anime. Uh, it's super funny. I thought the characters are really good. I really like the main, or not the main, I don't know if he's the main character, but the um, teacher, Koro-sensei. But basically, that's the plot of the anime. They have to try to assassinate him, and he ends up turning out to be a really good teacher, and they kind of begin to grow close to him, and they kind of have, like, a bond between him. And I don't know, I know it might sound a little silly, the idea of just students trying to assassinate a flying octopus monster thing, but it's actually a lot cooler than it sounds, or a lot better than it sounds, because um, when I had heard about this anime, I was unsure about watching it, but I watched it, and I really, really liked it. I think it's worth the watch if you want to laugh and have a good time. I feel like they, it does a really good job with the characters, and you really care about all these characters. And man, he really is the best teacher ever like any kid if he if this guy was real or this this alien tentacle monster koro sensei if he was real um i feel like a lot of people would finish school or enjoy school a lot more <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's a really funny anime. And just seeing the like funny uh, or like ridiculous attempts at like trying to assassinate him, sometimes it gets really funny. And it's kind of funny because um, he's just like ridiculously strong. So like even if you think like a plan's like super smart to like try to assassinate him, he's just incredibly fast and just like the plan completely fails just because of how ridiculously fast he is. Yeah, it's a really funny anime and I would definitely recommend it. Next! Anime. The next anime on this list is Parasite the Maxim. All of a sudden, they arrive. Parasitic aliens that descended upon Earth and quickly infiltrated humanity by burrowing into the brains of vulnerable targets. These insatiable beings acquire full control of their host and are able to morph into a variety of forms in order to feed on unsuspecting prey. And this story follows 16-year-old high school student Shinichi Izumi, who falls victim to one of these parasites, but it fails to take over his brain ending up in his right hand instead. Unable to relocate, the parasite now named Miggy has no choice but to rely on Shinichi in order to stay alive. Thus, the pair are forced into an uneasy coexistence and must defend themselves from hostile parasites that help to eradicate this new threat to their species. Now this one, uh, it's really, really good. The way I found it, actually, is I was going through Crunchyroll and I, I think, I just wanted to see how many anime there were and I was just like, uh, I had watched it on my TV and was just holding right on the remote and just randomly, like, I think I just, like, randomly found it and I was just reading the plots of all these animes and I read the plot of this one and it sounded really interesting and I thought I had to watch it. There are some, like, fight scenes, actually, that are pretty good and to be honest, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot of, like, fighting, to be honest. I was kind of more expecting, like, thriller, suspense, which this does have elements of that, but I was actually surprised by how much, like, action it is. But yeah, um, I think this is a really good anime, and I think that it has really good characters. It's really interesting to see the, like, relationship between Miggy and Shinichi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but it's really nice to see the relationship between those guys and how it, like, grows throughout the series and how they kind of grow closer to each other. But I definitely recommend this anime. It's, I think, 26 episodes, something like that. It's not too long. Uh, you can get it, or you can finish it pretty fast. Okay, so next, anime. The next anime on this list is Erased. In Erased follows Satoru Fujinama, who has the unique ability that whenever tragedy is about to strike, he finds himself set back several minutes before the accident occurs. The 29-year-old manga artist has taken advantage of this powerful yet mysterious phenomena, which he calls revival, to save many lives. So, basically, the way this power works is it... Whatever something bad... I think it's like whenever something bad's about to happen, it sends him back a couple minutes 
before, and he kind of has to look around and find out what's wrong. Like it doesn't like he doesn't know exactly what's wrong, but it puts him back whenever something bad's about to happen. He kind of looks around, tries to observe and find something that's wrong about the area or something that's dangerous that's going on. And basically, what ends up happening is that he one day he's sent back to 1988, 18 years in the past. So basically, when he was a kid, 18 years ago he had in the, the town that he lived in some kids started going missing and they ended up dead basically or some murderer or whatever would kidnap them and kill them and basically he's sent back he's a kid again he has the mind of a 29 year old and he kind of has to figure out how to stop this basically so the thing sends him back that far and he has to figure out how to stop these crimes or these murders and he ends up trying to get close to this girl named Kayo Hinizuki, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But basically, um, she was one of the girls who went missing, and basically he tries to kind of become her friend to, in order to prevent this murder from happening, That he, or he knows that this murder's going to happen, and he has to try to prevent it from happening and kind of becomes friends with her in order to do that. And yeah, this is a pretty good anime. Um, I think that it is really good. Like, the plot I thought was really good. The... Like, the story, everything, I think, is really, really good about this anime. It does a really good job at, like, suspense. And, yeah, it's a pretty good anime. The only thing that would bother me is that it's not too hard to figure out who the person... Is, or it was kind of easy to figure out who the murderer was or or the kidnapper or whatever. That's my only complaint about this anime, but it was so it was so good that it was really easy to look past that. It does just a really good job with characters and plot. and It's a really good anime. Really good at making you um, feel suspense and make you want to watch the next episode. Um, I finished this one pretty fast. I don't know how many episodes it is. I can't remember, uh, but it's not too long. But I was just like, every time an episode would end, I'd want to watch the next one. It's really, really good. I would highly recommend watching this anime. Next, anime. The next one on this list is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, I, I'm i not going to look up the plot to JoJo's because... I think this one's a little hard to explain. So I'm just going to try to do it kind of off the top of my head because it's very, very different from most of the animes that you're used to. But basically, this show, it's very unique as in... So basically, the main thing... Uh, this might be minor spoilers. I don't really find it as... I don't find it that much. But basically, I don't think it's that bad. But basically, it follows this guy named Jojo. His name is Jonathan Joestar. Something like that. I can't remember what his name is, but basically this anime follows the Joestar family, like, bloodline, basically. There are several main characters, which is really interesting. Like, each season has, like, a new main character, basically. JoJo's is just... It's a really good anime. There's a lot of memes that are made from this anime, but JoJo's is base. It's very over-the-top. Sometimes it's, it's really bizarre a lot of the time. That's why it's called Bizarre Adventure. Um, it's super over the top, and I really like this anime. It is, like, most people... I don't think I've ever heard someone say JoJo's is bad. Most people that I talk to or that have... Or that I've heard have seen it, like, all really like this anime. Some people think it's, like, the one of the best animes of all time, and it probably is. It's really, really good. It's very unique. It has a very unique art style, storytelling, and fights. The fights are all really, really good. But me personally, I think that the first season is kind of boring, to be honest. It's a little bit boring, and I think it, it when it gets to season three, I think is when it really starts to get better. They, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but they introduce this new like power system, sort of. And once that's introduced, it gets a lot better. It's very unique. It's one of the most unique abilities or power systems in anime, basically. But I would recommend watching this anime if you like shonen or if you like fighting, if you are, if you like kind of over the top fights and stuff like that that are just awesome, I would highly recommend this anime. I love JoJo so much. Next anime. The next anime on this list is Steins Gate. Steins Gate follows the self-proclaimed mad scientist Rintaro Okabe, 
who rents out a room in a rickety old building in Akibara, I don't know if I pronounced that right, where he indulges himself in his hobby of inventing prospective future gadgets. With his fellow lab members, Mairi Shina, his airheaded childhood friend, and Hashiyara Itaru, a perverted hacker named Daru, the three pass the time by tinkering with their most promising contraption yet, a machine dubbed the phone microwave, which performs the strange functioning of, or function of morphing bananas into piles of green gel. Though miraculous in itself, the phenomenon doesn't provide anything concrete in Okabe's research for a scientific breakthrough. That is, until the lab members are spurred into action by a string of mysterious happenings before stumbling upon an unexpected success. The phone microwave that can send emails to the past, altering the flow of history. Stein's Gate takes Okabe through the depths of scientific theory and practicality forced across the diverging threads of past and present. Okabe must shoulder the burdens that come with holding the key to the realm of time. This is a really good anime. Stein's Gate is amazing. Um, I would highly recommend it. There is the only problem that I think I would have with it that a lot of people would probably have. When you first watch it, the first two to three episodes are kind of confusing, to be honest. you It's really confusing, actually. Or a lot of it's pretty confusing. It was confusing for me. I still gave it a shot because I heard how good it was. But um, I tried rewatching it with my brother and a friend of ours. And basically, when we went to rewatch it, they're really confused and they're not sure if they like it. Even me watching it again, I like can see like how a lot of people watching this would be kind of confused. It takes a little bit, like maybe three to four episodes for the plot to really start going. But it's really, really good. It's one of the best animes of all time. Or that, in my opinion, it's just, it's so good. And you just have to give it that chance, though. That's the thing. Sometimes it's like really good with suspense and mystery. And it makes you want to keep watching. I remember one night, I think I was like maybe five, six episodes into it. Maybe further. But... I just kept watching it. Every time an episode would end, I was like, I, I have to see what happened next. Like, I think one time I was getting really, really tired. Then something happens at the end of the episode, and I was like, oh my god, like, I need to see what happens next. And I watched, like, four more episodes. Like, this one is so, so good. It's, um, in my, like, top ten favorite anime of all time. It's really, really good. You just need to give it that chance. It's really interesting with the time travel. And any th time time travel is involved with most things, sometimes it gets really confusing. But I don't know. It's really, really good. I would highly recommend this anime, but you need to give it that. You need to watch the first four episodes, but just please watch this one. Just trust me. It's really, really good, and I think that you would like it. I highly recommend this anime. Next, anime. The next anime on this list is Your Lie in April. And Your Lie in April follows Kosei Arma, who was a genius pianist until his mother's sudden death took away his ability to play. Each day was dull for Kosei, but then he meets a violinist named Kaori Miyazano, who has an eccentric playing style. His monotonous life was about to change forever. I didn't want to tell you guys too much about this anime, because I don't want to ruin it. So that was like the plot for- it's, that's what it says on Crunchyroll. But this anime, this is really, really good. It's an excellent anime. It's very emotional. Um, it's probably the most emotional that I- ever felt watching anime or maybe maybe probably it was one of the most emotional anime that i've ever seen i don't i've cried i cried a lot while watching this one it's actually known as like for like a sad anime anyone who told me about this anime said that it's really sad and i just recently watched this one what, what day what month is it i actually watched this in april <laughs> i watched your lie in april in april but it's a really good anime it it does a really good job with characters and storytelling, and oh my god, this anime will most likely make you feel emotional. It does a really good job with that, but it's really, really good, and the music is really good. This is a music anime. I mean, that's awesome. The music is good because it's a music anime. Um, I really, really like it, and I really like the opening song. I don't normally talk about this. Maybe I should. Whenever I review an anime, I don't talk about the opening, but this has my favorite opening of all time. But this is a really, really good anime, and I would highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this anime if you're, like, right now, if you're going through, like, a rough time or you're upset about something. Do not watch this anime. It will just, it will make you feel really, really upset. Or just really, uh, it's, it's not a good idea to watch if you're already feeling, like, if you're feeling depressed or whatever. Go watch JoJo's or something to make you cheer up. Like, for example, for me, I was pretty, I was doing pretty good, I was pretty happy when I watched this anime, and I, this is like one of the few animes where I had to pause it, 
to like cry to like just i had to take a minute like to just stop watching the anime because it was pretty rough but i highly recommend watching this anime if you can get through it it's really really good it's definitely worth it next anime the next anime on this list is bleach and Bleach follows Ichigo Kurosaki, who is an ordinary high schooler, until his family is attacked by a hollow, a corrupt spirit that seeks to devour human souls. It is then that he meets a soul reaper named Rukia Kuichi, who gets injured while protecting Ichigo's family from the hollow. To save his family, Ichigo accepts Rukia's offer of taking her powers and becomes a soul reaper as a result. However, as Rukia is unable to regain her powers, Ichigo is given the daunting task of hunting down the hollows that plague their town. However, he is not alone in this fight, as he is later joined by his friends, classmates Orheim, Ino, Yasa, Tora, Sado, and Yuria, Yuria Ishida who each have their own unique abilities as Ichigo and his comrades get used to their new duties and support each other on their on and off the battlefield, the young Soul Reaper soon lo learns that the Hollows are not the only real threat to the human world. I did terrible at reading, at reading the plot, I'm sorry about that. But Bleach is it's a really good anime. It has a lot of episodes though, like 300 maybe? Maybe a little bit more. I definitely think that bleach is a really good one especially if you like shonen like uh, dragon ball z naruto if you like um stuff like that you should watch this one it's definitely one of the most popular animes it's really really good and actually the one of the reasons why i put it on this list is because bleach it, they actually announced that they're coming back with in continuing the show and i forgot how many years i think it might have been like seven years or something since the anime was last out but it was really really cool i decided to put this on this list because maybe take this time this year to watch it catch up on it and i'm really really excited about this i'm so excited about this a lot of people are excited about this it was trending on twitter when it was announced it's really really good i i should re review bleach at some point i really need to review bleach uh it's a really really good anime I, it's so many episodes so i might have to rewatch it but I highly recommend this anime. Try to catch up before the series comes out. Or not this new series, sorry. The, the It comes back. I'm so excited for that. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. <sighs> Please watch this anime. <laughs> next anime. The next anime on this list is Inuyasha. And Inuyasha follows Kagome Higurashi, a 15-year-old girl whose normal life ends when a demon drags her into a cursed well on the grounds of her family's Shinto shrine. Instead of hitting the bottom of the well, Kagome ends up 500 years in the past during Japan's violent Sengoku period. With the demon's true target, a wish-granting jewel called the Shikan Jewel reborn inside of her, and after a battle with a revived demon accidentally causes the sacred jewel to shatter, Kagome enlists the help of a young hybrid dog he demon human named Inuyasha to help her collect the shards and prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. Joining Kagome and Inuyasha on their quest are a bunch of friends that they end up meeting along the way, and I'm not going to read that because it would be more spoilery. Now, um, what's funny about Inuyasha is that Inuyasha was also announced like a week ago that Inuyasha is making another series too so that's also why I put it on this list I actually reviewed Inuyasha now in my review for Inuyasha I left out what it just said about them going around to collect these shards I think I, I was pretty sure because I thought it might be a big spoiler but to be honest it's not that big of a spoiler I probably should have talk, talked about it in my review because it probably would have made you want to watch it more but yeah it's a really it's Inuyasha's great too it's a really good anime it has a lot of episodes and it's coming back oh i'm like i'm really really excited about that i am so hyped for inuyasha when it comes back because i like just finished it like what was it month month ago two months ago something like that i can if you want i'll put links in the description to where to find my review on it uh actually the should be popping it should you know that little little thing that you click and it should pop up and tell you it, it should pop up, and you guys can go watch my Inuyasha review. I went a lot more in-depth with it than I am going to right now. But yeah, it's good anime. Um, it has really good action or fight scenes, and I think this is another one that you should try to finish Inuyasha and Bleach this year. Try to get catch, caught up, because it's coming back. Oh my god. The, I'm, like, I know 2020 has been pretty bad, kind of, or with all the stuff going on in the world. But man, it's actually been pretty good just because, like, it feels so nice to have, like, these two amazing animes that ended, like, years ago finally coming back. Like, it's 
it's awesome. It's really, really hype. Yeah, um, I'm excited for the next Inuyasha series. I hope that it's good. I really, really hope that it's good. But it was announced the other day. It was trending on Twitter as well. Same thing with Bleach. It was super, everyone was super hyped about it. And oh my god, I cannot wait for next year. Next year is going to be awesome for anime. Okay, next anime. The last anime on this list is Noragami. In times of need, if you look in the right place, you just may see a strange telephone number scrawled in red. If you call this number, you will hear a young man introduce himself as the Yato God. Yato is a minor deity and a self-proclaimed delivery god who dreams of having millions of worshippers. Without a single shrine dedicated to his name, however, his goals are far from being realized. He spends his days doing odd jobs for five yen apiece until his weapon partner becomes fed up with her useless master and deserts him. Just as things seem to be looking grim for the god, his fortune changes when a middle school girl, Hiyori Iki, supposedly saves Yato from a car accident, taking the hit for him. Remarkably, she survives, but the event has caused her soul to become loose and hence able to leave her body. Hiyori demands that Yato return her to normal, but upon learning that he needs a new partner to do so, reluctantly she agrees to help him find one, and with Hiyori's help, Yato's luck may finally be turning around. Noragami's a really good anime as well. <laughs> All of these are pretty good anime. And, um, Noragami's really unique, as in, I like the power system of anime. Um, it reminds me of another anime called Soul Eater? I've only seen the first episode of Soul Eater, so I don't really know too much about the power system of that. I, I should watch that. I've heard it's really good. I only saw the first episode of that. But basically, in Soul Eater, or, yeah, I think it's Soul Eater and Noragami, the weapons are like a human, and you call their name, and they transform into a weapon. That's how it, it's similar to Soul Eater. I don't, it might be a little bit different, but Noragami, you call the name of the weapon. It comes to you and transforms whatever weapon you have, and it... it pretty cool i don't know this is a really good anime um i think that it's really good with fight scenes and one point in the show where i felt like i didn't or i hated a character because like he wasn't necessarily bad but he was just doing all these terrible things and i are kind of terrible things and i kind of hated him and then they did a really good job at making me really care about this character and he's probably my favorite or one of my favorite characters i'm not gonna talk about it he's introduced in like the third or fourth episode but yeah, um, Noragami is a really good anime. I would recommend watching it. Now, the only thing is, this is the only problem that I have with it, is Noragami has, how many seasons? Like, two seasons, I think? And it's been, uh, from what I've heard, it's been a while since the last, since whatever the other season ended, and they haven't come up with another season, and it hasn't really ended the show, so it's one of those animes where it's not, it's kind of incomplete, and you're waiting for the next season or show or whatever, but I still think it's really good, and I don't think I've seen too many people talk about this anime. It could be because it came out a few years ago, I think, but I, it's still really, really good, despite not having another season yet. It sucks, but I still think that it's worth watching, because, I mean, who knows, maybe they'll, one day the anime will return, and it'll be really, really good. What's funny about this anime is around the, this time I had watched, what was it, I watched Noragami, No Game, No Life, and uh, it was Bungo Stray Dogs. I watched these anime all in a row, and one thing that every single one of these animes have in common is that they haven't ended. So, it was three animes in a row where like they just didn't end and like they have no idea when they're making another season so <laughs> that's funny about this one yeah it felt weird don't watch those animes in a row it will make you feel kind of disappointed but yeah i still recommend this anime even though it's not super long and yeah it's really really good okay guys so that was 10 anime that i recommend watching um they're all pretty good uh i think that i mean there's some that i like more than others but they're all i think they're all worth a watch uh i think everyone should watch them at some point but yeah, they're all decent. Or they're all pretty good. Sorry, what did I say? Decent. They're all really good. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you want me to do another one. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, though, is that I've only seen like 80 anime. And not all of them are good. So I can't really make too many of these. I was thinking about maybe doing one of these once a month. It kind of depends on how much anime I watch. <laughs> I haven't watched as much recently, actually. But um, I'm going to. I'll probably start watching some more anime soon. And yeah, once. But yeah, I don't know, maybe next month we'll do another one. Let me know in the comments below any anime that you recommend me checking out that you think I should watch and then try to put on one of these lists. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Why did I salute you? Bye. 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 <laughs>